After seven years in my comfort zone in Los Angeles, I needed a fresh start. I decided to leave the city that made me who I am today and try somewhere new. I could sell everything I have and just fly to a new destination. But there is no adventure in that. There is no fun. This is why I took my car and everything I could fit in it and decided to drive from coast to coast between Los Angeles and New York. Traveling alone is a big mental challenge. Every mile you discover something new, every turn you see something different and unknown, and every day you have to survive. You're alone with yourself, with your own mind and your stuff. But isn't it what freedom is all about? I have a car, millions of miles of open roads, and a full tank. I'm driving from Los Angeles to New York, and this is my story. So I'm living in Denver, I'm actually stuck in Denver's traffic right now. It's not bad, it's only for a few minutes and then it just opened up. I'm going to Texas now. This is the, the Texas bound. Uh, I'm going to Amarillo, Texas first because it's a six hours drive. Six hours drive and then Dallas is going to be another five hours so I want to kind of stop in uh, Amarillo. In between to take a break because I cannot do a 12 hours uh, drive in one day it's a little much the mission i want to do is take a picture in front of the texas sign welcome to texas uh, i hope i think i check on the map but technically i'm able to stop by the road and take a quick picture i missed the colorado one so that's how it is so i'm going to take the uh, da uh texas one Okay, so I'm in New Mexico right now. I'm actually at the corner uh, northeast of New Mexico. I'm crossing it, uh, so I'm in Colorado, New Mexico, and then I'm coming back to Texas in about 80 miles. It's very different landscapes again. It's like crazy how many type of landscapes you can have. Now it's like flat mostly, but there is some hills and small mountains. It's very yellow. In about 80 miles, I'm gonna stop at the uh, Takes us to sign because I want to take a picture of that. So, right now I am in. Uh, Dal Dalhart, Dalhart. It's a small town in Texas. It's really. I'm in Texas. Yeah, I can tell. I want to pee, but I don't know where to stop. Because you know I have all my stuff, so I kind of need to find a place where I feel comfortable with. I'll be at the hotel in an hour, anyway. But if I can find some things.
Yeah, this is Amarillo, Texas. Just got my room. Just have to bring all of this every time. It's, uh, it's a lot of work, but I won't make it work. Don't tell me I already lose the keys. Oh, there you go. <laughs> King suit this time. King bed, couch, all kitchenette, and the view. And the view is the view. Perfect. I have a view of my car. It's Amarillo, Texas. This is day number six already. I can't believe it's day number six. Uh, I'm living in Amarillo. Mario, Texas, on my way to Dallas to see Time Lapse Junkie, alias Jordan. Missed a few days over there. Shoot some time lapse, enjoy some uh, good barbecue and beers. And yeah, leave the Texas way, right? <laughs> small town right now called uh, Child Rest. 234 miles from uh, Dallas, uh, getting gas. Gas is still cheap here, it's crazy. It's like a $30 full tank, <laughs> compared to 50 in uh, California. It's 224, 224 a gallon. It was pretty much four dollars a gallon, yeah, you know. Eh? Traffic. Um, actually, Fort, Fort Worth, uh, where it is uh, Jordan lives. I missed it. Everything looks so American here. One away. Ah, uh, where is this? Ah, is it there? Oh yeah, it's right here. I missed it! <laughs> hey buddy, what's his name? Wally. Wally. Hey Wally, say hi. It's like the, the second dog I'm gonna have in this dog. He, he is my, he, I always do camera tests with him. <laughs> new camera, new lenses. He is the best subject. Sit, Wally, sit, good boy, uh, down. Roll over. Oh, good boy. Hey, spin, spin. Yeah. Up, up. That's so cute. Oh, look at this. All right, so I'm here in Texas. I mean, in Dallas with uh, this guy. Are you doing like a local beer in a Texas ale glass? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. <laughs> We did a, uh, a three hour sous vide on these ribeye cap, uh, cap, damn it. <laughs> okay, take number two. All right, all right. We did a three hour sous vide on these ribeye cap steaks with garlic, rosemary, thyme, and the salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. Coarse salt, of course. And now we're 
you know, doing a cast iron finish here. Let's, see, let's take a look at them. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Do that again. Wide angle. You want some boots? Ah, ah, come on. <laughs> He's not gonna no, he doesn't want it. Hey, spin. You want boots? My stop in Dallas means I'm about halfway to New York, and this is at that time that I started to realize that this road trip is way more than just driving between two cities. I am rediscovering myself, what I want in my life and who I want around me. You have a lot of time to think when you're driving alone for 60 hours. Texas was definitely one state I was very excited to visit. Good food, good beers, good friends. What else do we need? Can't believe this is already day number seven, and I'm in uh, Dallas with time lapse Chunky. What's up? I forgot his real name. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know. That is my real name. <laughs> Jordan. Yeah, I always call him time lapse Chunky. This is Jordan. And uh, it's, it's a little boat up right out. There you go. We can see down at uh, Fourth Worth. We're gonna stop at the um, water garden. And then we're gonna see some kettles. And oh no, we're gonna do that tomorrow. Yeah, another we'll, day. We're we'll, gonna edit it. Uh, yeah, we'll <laughs> we can edit make it, it one day. Whatever. <laughs> and then we're gonna go to Dallas, shoot some uh, time lapse cities. Pretty excited about this. New skyline, new city. It's gonna be awesome. And I have a perfect guide for this. Oh yeah, I got you take care of. We're at the Fort Worth Stockyards. A lovely place for absorbing some culture in Texas. We're waiting for the cattle right now. They're gonna come right there. And he's gonna shoot a time lapse. I'm just gonna do like, uh, like videos, but that's it. Dallas, you can see Dallas in the back. Julian camera, he's setting up his cat vlog. shooting I'm doing like a, some sort of like close-up shot here it's the 100 400 and this one is still doing like a very wide shot and it looks pretty good actually Alright, it's day number eight already. It's Monday. I'm still in Dallas with this guy. I smell the burgers. I smell and them already. <laughs> obviously, we're gonna. I cannot leave this town before going to uh, the Hop burger Daddy. place. Hop Daddy. Man. Hop Daddy. It's, it's so that's food. where we are in Fourth Worth. Oh, that's bright now. <laughs> but yeah, let's go eat some awesome burgers. So what's special about that place? The atmosphere is nice, everybody's here to eat good food, but man, the burgers are just amazing. Yeah. We've got all different kinds of burgers and they're all just... And the best beers out there. It's time-lapse fuel. 
That's what it is. You need to eat well because you know you're not going to have dinner on time. You're going to have a big ass lunch yeah. and then at night, you know. Well, you're not going to have dinner until like 9 or 10 p.m. Whatever's hours, open, so. whatever's open, but you're going to be hungry. This is time lapse life. Yeah, time lapse life. It's about the meals at the right time. Thank you. We can take that. Look at the size of this thing. That's crazy, man. Cheers. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is good. This is the water garden. <laughs> this is a quiet pool at the water garden, super nice in Fort Worth. It's really relaxing actually. Pan over to all the trees and shit. <laughs> we are at the water garden. Woo! Trying not to fall. I lost the lens cap in here once. You can just see it swirling. That is cool, man. So we're back at the same spot we actually were last night, but we decided to go to somewhere else, which is what you just saw before. And we are sweating. It was raining like a few minutes ago, so it's super humid. Here's a quick time lapse tip carry a personal fan in the Texas heat. Oh, I didn't even see that. <laughs> dude, is it working? It's stylish too. Dude, I, didn't, I, didn't, I actually didn't know what it yeah. was. Dude, it's so hot. That is. Bring your own cooler, bring a fan. Oh, it's blowing this way. Yeah, it's blowing right at my. This guy is like this guy. A, this guy is living. It's his first time shooting. Give him a break, yeah. guys. No. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, yeah. So we want, we'd love to get the reflection of the city lights down here in the water, but the water level is a little bit too low right now. Even though it just rained, I know you can't, you can't really feel the humidity, but it's like you're. It taking, is here. You're taking somebody else's bath right yeah. now. Yeah. That's what it feels like. Um, but uh, yeah, so we're looking to get the reflection in the water. Water level's too low, so we're not going to commit to a day to night for that. But we might try to get a bonus shot later at night, at night when we know what the lights are looking like. Because just too much to risk. Because you got to get so close, you don't want to leave it there all yeah. for the whole time for a couple of hours. True, true, true. Yeah. Super nice though. It's super green. Beautiful. And I have a camera. It's like shooting or was it right there? Lonely camera. what time lapse is all about it's you know trying if it doesn't work it's gonna work another day and today we actually tried to shoot here from here yesterday and it didn't work so we went somewhere where it doesn't matter if we have clouds or not we have traffic and we have the sky in the back but today there is no really any foreground so the only thing we want to use is what's in the sky and the light changing and today actually worked um, at night we're gonna to try to actually do reflection right there but yeah, this is what time lapse is all about. You know, you know, you come back to the same spot until it works. And today it works perfectly. Beautiful clouds. Look at this. Take that stupid fan off. Where are we right now? We're at the pluck. We're getting plucked. Let's get 
get some wings. My name is Jordan Mathis. I am the time-lapse junkie. I live in Fort Worth, Texas, and time-lapse photography for me, it's not only a profession, but it's also cheaper than therapy. It's wonderful to just go out to beautiful places and sit and watch the world turn and to make art at the same time. It, you get to play inside of time and think about time in a way that most other art forms, you don't really have that opportunity. I think an excellent time lapse takes something ordinary, like a bridge you drive over every day. Like this guy. Like that guy <laughs> drives over every day. It's boring to him now, but you can show him this time lapse and it will seem extraordinary to him. But it takes a special person to want to go sit out for five, six, seven hours in a row, one spot, just to get the shot. Okay, so this is my last day in Dallas, and uh, we're shooting, he's shooting a 13 track time lapse, just a regular day tonight right here. <laughs> oh shit, there's an helicopter. This is the end of four days in the city with Jordan. And again, I had an amazing time exploring it. It was time for me to continue my journey to New York. 